Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. Now, what did we get up to last time? Well, last time, I actually ended the episode down in the caves. I cannot remember which cave we were in. I think it was the cave, or wherever I came up was over here near the marketplace. Really random. It was the one over here, and what we were trying to do last time was find a place where we could set up a strip mine so that I could, um, off camera, I could just go ahead and mine what I needed when I needed it. And where is it? It's down here, and this is where I kind of came up, which is interesting, because I'm pretty sure that's not where I went down. But anyway, that, aside from that, um, what else did we do? I can't really remember. It's been a while since I played last time, because I did it all in advance and stuff. But, um, yeah, what we're going to do today is try and um, do a few jobs around um, around the TD Empire, because I do need to um, kind of farm all these. need to make sure everything's working properly, uh, make sure everyone's safe, and do what you suggested in the, the previous video and we're also going to start a railway system today which is cool so let me just put some of this stuff back for um for starters we have got this and we have got this and i think that's okay for now and last episode i asked you guys if i should make another iron golem like the beautiful one we've got out here somewhere he's kind of just walking off and and stuff though i don't know He's not really doing too much, but anyway, um, yeah, well, I asked you whether you wanted me to make another iron golem or to make an anvil and pretty much almost, it must be like at least 90% of you wanted me to make an anvil and another um, portion of you told me to make another door because um, the door is missing from the Great Cake Bakery. So what I need to do is quickly make another door and go and place that down because um, because otherwise there won't be any golems spawning. We need to have as many doors as possible, so we need to make sure that we do actually have, um, all the maximum amount of doors that we can have in the TD Empire. So let's plop this down. The meaning to do that for a while, finally actually did it, which is good. And I think we're gonna put the railway system, or the railway station, around here. It's not gonna be anything massive, it's more like gonna be just like one platform and then it will go to somewhere underground where you can change where you want to go and stuff like that um, and we can also add more platforms in the future so I think somewhere near here would be good to be honest so let's go and grab all the rails um, that we need and it's already got kind of like a an underground part to it which is good so it saves us a little bit of time in that respect how is everyone doing in the TD Empire everyone good everyone good we got doors oh there's a door missing here Need to make another door. Guys, we need another door, so let's make one right now. Oh yeah, the anvil we need to do as well. So that is probably why the golems haven't continued to spawn, because those pesky zombies have been knocking down our doors. How very dare they? How dare they? Um, everything's looking good over here. Got an egg. Smash the egg. Nope. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> There's the why are you in here? Why are you in here? They're playing hide and seek, I think. I think that's what they're doing. Anyway, let's get to kind of um, what we were supposed to do today, which is um, starting off by making, um, I think I need 20, I need more than that. So let's make a anvil today, and we're going to put it in the blacksmith's because it deserves to be there. It belongs there. And I think we need to make iron blocks first. Um, there we go, one, two, three. And then, um, where would the other tools and weapons... Let's see if it's through here. Cauldrons and stuff, no. Um, here, no. Here, no. Not in food, it won't be in armor. Maybe mechanisms that are push? Ah, oh, this is the most annoying thing, is that I never get to find anything. Can't be in decoration, surely, because it's not really a decoration, is it? It's, it actually functions as something. Anvil. Where's an anvil? Structures... Oh my goodness, this is terrifying. This is ter uh, Yeah, I found it! So we need three blocks of iron and four normal iron, and we've just made a beautiful anvil. So thank you for all of your comments. I got literally like 12,000 comments, which is utterly insane. So let's go and place this properly. It would be cool to have it in the house, but I think it just makes sense to have it at the blacksmith's over here. I think it's called the sword and shovel. Is it called the sword and shovel? Yes, it is. Um, and we're going to put it in here. So let's just mine this out. Oh, there was lava in there. What? 
Since when was that in there? That's awesome. <laughs> I did not know that was there. Anyway, let's put the anvil down and now we have a perfectly ready anvil, which is awesome. And um, I also collected some more iron, so we kind of need to smelt that, which can go over here. That lava bucket is actually really handy because we kind of needed a lava bucket. Um, or we needed like some more coal anyway, so if we put... Um, the lava bucket in the bottom of there, and then we can use that when we need to use it. Oh, we got 18 gold. That's that's a nice surprise. I like that. I like surprises. So let's put that in there. We'll have 18 more iron. So that that um that iron is kind of been remade. We do need this. We do need this, and we need some stone slabs. So we need as much cobblestone as we can get. Let's make some stone slabs. Let's actually just take a crafting table with us because otherwise we're just going to be hopping backwards and forwards. And let's go and see where we're going to be going today. I think I'm just going to grab some wheat as well just so that I can make some bread. A little bit of a sandwich as a snack while I'm working away on this um, on this train station. And I think the first place it's going to go is kind of to the ravine with a huge opening. And I think that'll be good. And then it'll go to other places around the TD Empire when it gets too big to walk around, basically. So that is how that is going to work. Let's move the map and then plant all these. And then we can, you know, make bread. So here we go. Let's put all this down. Let's put that down there. The, the sheep and pigs are being very, very loud still. Um, as, as normal. We, have, we need to get soundproofing in there. Definitely need soundproofing in there. So that they don't be as loud. But, you know, we can't make that in Minecraft yet, so we're not going to be able to. Maybe sponge would work, but again, you can't get that either. So let's keep on doing this. Chicken has walked in. Chicken's a bit awkward. I think it's... Oh, it's because I'm holding seeds, isn't it? Chicken, come out of here. Oh, my... Why? Why does... Why do you keep moving? That's weird. Come over here. Come over here right now. Come over here. Come over here. Why are you moving? And I just placed a rail down. Thank you. Thank you, Mika, for doing that to me. You need to go back on your throne. She keeps moving. I guess she wants to kind of walk around a little bit. Or the villagers might have pushed her. But they didn't push her all the way into there, did they? I don't know what she's doing. Get back on there and do your job. She's been doing her job perfectly. What are you doing? <laughs> so rude. So rude, he just pushed her, off the, pushed her off her throne. That's so upsetting. Just There we go. That's better. Don't be so rude, guys. Jeez, what is wrong with you? Right then, let's put some seeds back because we're not going to need those where we're going. So let's grab uh, put those back and we're going to keep these because we're just going to make loads. And we need to put our gold back because if we happen to die somehow, that'll be terrible. Absolutely terrible. Let's go. Let's go and choose a place where we're going to put, um, put our railway. It's getting to night, isn't it? It actually is. Why? 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 I must took way too long for that and we need to keep an eye out for another golem as well because now that we put extra doors down we might be all right with having these uh might be all right for another spawn of a golem and i think if you have like a perfect golem farm then they spawn every six minutes so this episode usually reach about 30 minutes so hopefully we'll have some golem action to make a, a second golem which would be good unless we've reached our spawn limit which i had no idea happened in this version of minecraft but when we get onto the xbox one Oh my goodness, those worlds are supposed to be 36 times the size of Xbox. That is a lot. That is a lot bigger than before, so that'll be good. Lots more spawn space, lots more um, valuables so that we don't have to uh, kind of uh, consume... What's it called? What's it called? Conserve them as much as we do now. All right then, let's have a quick sleep, and now we can go ahead and start this railway. I'm really liking the house now. I've got used to it being um, a lower floor and not as open, but that's fine. You leave, you leave Mika alone. I don't want her. Um, I don't want her to be pushed off again. Um, I just collected an egg, so I want to throw it. Um, here come, boom. Still nothing. Why? How are you doing, golems? We managed to create this last time, and some of you were worried that the glowstone was going to melt the snow, but it doesn't. It's okay. We're all good. Um, and they're going to stay perfectly fine up there. All right, then, let's go and place down our first platform for the railway. We are going to need more rails in this because rails do not go far at all. You think you've got, like, two stacks? They aren't going to go far. And we kind of need a building in front of it. So maybe up here will be good. Would up here be good? And then we can make it go down that way. Yeah, I think that will be cool. So if we, like, put it like this... Uh, get these weeds out of the way. There's a lot of weeds here. So this will be like the per the first platform. 
And it's not going to be a huge one. It's just going to be like a little kind of dainty one. It's going to look cute as anything. We should have got a shovel with us. Let's put the crafting table over here. And just knock this out. Because we're going to replace these with slabs. And I think we might place... Hmm, should we put cobblestone underneath the tracks? Would that look good? I think that might look good, you know. So let's do this and bring it back up. I need a shovel now. Why? I always forget something. Always. Always. Let me go get a shovel and I'll be back in a second. Right then, guys. I'm back with me shovel. I got a shovel. It's all right. We're all good. Um, we just need to dig out where we want this to go. So we want stone here. I think it'll just look a little bit neater. And then we're going to have slabs at the side, which would be good. Really good. And then we can have different directions where we want it to go. So let's stop it here for now. And then put the cobblestone all the way in here. This might take a few episodes to build because we're going to have to build the actual railway and figure out where we're going to want it to go and how far it's going to go, how much extra tracks we're going to need because I heard a zombie. There's a zombie creeping around somewhere. What are you... What is going on? Why are you walking around? I don't understand. I don't understand. You come straight back over here. You know what? You're just going to have to sit over here, aren't you? <laughs> So random. She just wants to be loved. She's not doing great work uh, with the creeper situation now over here. But regardless, she's going to stay with us. So let's make some cobblestone slabs. And hopefully you'll get where I'm going with this. So the uh, it will go like this, which will look cool. And then it will have the, um, the tracks in the middle. All right, well, let's put the tracks in the middle to make it look proper. There we go, and I think we'll have kind of wooden at the side, so it looks quite cool, I guess. Let's try it. Let's try it right now. I'm kind of winging this, and I think it would look good, though. So this will be like that. We need some more planks. There we go. Let's bring this all the way here, and then we're going to cut off this bit as well. And this is where you'll be able to walk on the platform, and then we'll have lights. It will look awesome, and then we'll have to make a building as well, which would be good. It would be interesting as well. And here we go. Let's bring this all the way to the end of here. And I think this is where we want it to kind of go underground. So it's going to be kind of like an underground subway as well, <laughs> which is going to be cool. So let's do this and make some more slabs. Um, yeah, we should be good to make that many slabs without running out of um, cobblestones. We've got tons of cobblestone. So hopefully you can see how this is going to work. It's going to be the platform like this. And it's going to be breaking out into a kind of like little building that comes off the side here. And I think we'll have it um, the front about here. So it's not going to be huge, but it's going to be impressive, I think. And then we'll have a minecart on here. So we need to decide where our first destination is going to be. Um, let's see what's down here. So if we make it go down this way, um, I don't think there's anything this way. Oh wait, there is. There is something down here. Um, I really want it to get to... Oh! Oh yeah, there's definitely stuff down here. Get out of here! Get out of here! Creeper bunk! See, this is what happens when Mika is not in her throne. There's creepers everywhere. There's skeletons. Oh goodness, this is... This is, uh, not what I expected it to be. Get out of here, punk! We've got a pretty opening here. And does this link up? Because that would be really good if that actually linked up with the outside world where we've already been. Um, slight bit of experience down here for some reason. What's going on? Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh, God. It's oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. Saw that a bit late, didn't I? But regardless, that's fine. So, down here is where we've already been. Um, I think I just want to see what exactly is down here, because the mushrooms are intriguing. So, let's try this. Oh, God! There's creepers everywhere! Oh, God! I didn't make my bread either. Oh, man. Um, I don't want to throw that. <laughs> I need to eat something. Uh, steaks will help. Let's make steak. Steak. There's a spider up there. Um, oh god, there's lots of stuff here. This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea at all. We need to get out of here. Um, 
Oh gosh, this is terrifying. Oh, 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 where have I gone? Where have I gone? I'm so stuck. So it looks like there's a place over here we can get out. But where does that link up with where we came in? I have no idea. We got iron and we got coal down here. And this is... Oh, I see where this is. It's here. Right near... Yeah, right near this side of the bakery. So we almost made it to here. Hmm. We're going to have to think about this. There's lots of caves underneath the TD Empire, isn't there? Serious amounts of cave, which is really good. And also terrifying at the same time. To be honest, anyway. We need to decide where we want this to go then. So maybe down there is not too great. Uh, where else can we go? I want to go to that ravine. Where's the entrance to the ravine? I think it's around here. Oh, that is... Yeah, that is here. That is down here. Um, the ravine is actually pretty far as well. It needs to go down there. We need to find like the best way to get to it. So if we go down here, and then it's down this way, it's going to be a long, long railway. A really long one. Did I just see something? No. No. No, you sure? Um, yeah, the ravine would be a good place to go. This would also be a good place to go down. Oh, there's a place like near the ravine where we had loads of lava and stuff. Do you remember that? I think that's right near the ravine. So hmm, let's go to the ravine and then use our map for a second. Just to... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. I need protection down here. Um, just to see whereabouts the ravine is. To see if we can actually dig down or up. Whichever one is safer. None of them are safe. But we're going to try it. Let's go down here. And then we want to end... Where's the staircase? Down here. It's weird how I remember all this from even, like, episode two. That's crazy. <laughs> we found this so quickly. Um, yeah, down here... Oh, the stronghold could be a good stop. And then down here, there's something following me. I don't like it. I can hear it. I can hear it. There's something just trotting around. But I'm here. Where are we? We're in the river. I'm not sure where that is, though. Hmm. We need to find a way to get it all the way down. So let's go back up and see if we can do that. How far? We need to find out where we aren't underneath the river so we can make the shortest trip possible. So let's go to the top of here, which could be handy. The stronghold might be a good stop-off place so that we can get them, get it round there. So we're going to try that too. Strongholds under the water as well. Where's the best place to put this? Where is the best place? Because it's all like, it's all really unorganized and I want it to be organized. Um, around here, I think, is the way. Around here. Possibly here. Yeah, this is where the water meets the meets the land, I think. Let's go a little bit further in. So this could be a good place to kind of start it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go and do it this way. It's the easiest way. It's the easiest way. It's going to use a lot, a lot, a lot of tracks. But we do have other mine shafts that we can get the tracks from. The only problem is I went down there to see if there was any land directly above where we need to get to. So that we could use the least amount. What? How? How? How did that happen? Oh, he's climbed on here, hasn't he? What are you doing? What are you doing, villager? Where has he gone? He's gone over there. Great. He's dancing. He's dancing. That's illegal. Don't dance. No, it's, it's okay to dance in the TD Empire. Um, I need to move Mika back. But anyway, what I was saying is so we can use the least amount of rails. Don't let anyone in. Don't let anyone in. So that we can kind of save iron and stuff and not have to go too far into the mines to be able to complete this railway. So for now, I think we'll go as far as we can with this and then... And then sort out the actual building for the railway. I think that's a good plan. So let's do that right now. Let's go as far as we can. And we need to kind of lure it towards and in and out everything else. So I think we need to go down here. Am I correct? Yes, we do. So that's actually good because it's not near any... Oh, okay. Where's that? Um, What are you doing? Who just shot me? Who just shot me? Where did you come from? You just shot me, punk. 
You can't be shooting me. No, you can't be shooting me and they just run off. Where's he gone? That was so random. He'll come out of, he'll come out again. It's that sneaky, sneaky ghost. And it's just terrorizing me. It was terrorizing me last episode. It's terrorizing me now. I'm gonna eat some bread and try and forget about it. So let's numb on this, shall we? There we go, beautiful, beautiful bread. Where is it? I don't know where he went or where he's from. Where he, he shot me here, right? I don't appreciate this. There he is. There he is. Oh, I have my bow on me. I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to shoot him proper. Here we go. Ow! <laughs> wow, he's got a better shot than I have. Let's take him down. Take him straight down. There we go. Oh, no, wait. One more. Right in the legs. Nice. Got him. All right then. That was a good shot from him. I couldn't even see him, and he shot me, like, right in the head. Little punk. So we need to lure this all the way over here. And let's try that right now. We're going to have to make, like, a little bridge. Um, let's make it from there. There we go. Make it from here. And make it go all the way around. And see what I mean? There's literally... Oh, man, it's going to take so much. And it'll be cool to have kind of like a bridge going across as well, over the railway. So if we make enough room for that to happen later as well... We'll go through here, and then we need to go right across here. See, I've already used, like, a stack of rails, and some of these are going to have to be powered as well, which means we're going to use gold and redstone, and I think we actually have quite a lot of gold, but the rails, ugh, they're either going to take a lot of iron, or it's going to take a lot of mining them, and either way, it's going to be quite difficult. So now we need to get this down. Um, yeah, if we get this down here... We need to... Oh, yeah, you come back, punk. You come here. We need to get it down there. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's go here. And then... This is going to be temporary. I will make it look a much nicer afterwards. But this is just for getting it all planned out, all ready to go. And then next episode, I think, we will actually start making the, the official plans for the building that it's going to be in. And then we'll have a grand opening where we take our first ever trip. And then we're going to have to figure out where all the powered rails need to go. Where all the, um, where everything goes so that we can get back. <laughs> Which is going to be interesting too. So let's try this. Um, we need to make that different straight away. Let's go down this way. So, oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Let's go down here. And then we have to go this way. What? Oh man, this is so confusing. Let's get rid of this. Oh, and there's a zombie behind me. Why? Why zombie? Come on. And the rails are messed up as well. Where are you? Come on, show yourself. He's not in there. He's not around here. Let's not bother with him. Unless he bothers us, of course. Unless he does. So if we make it go down here, then here, then here, then here, that should work. Nice. And now we need to take it around again. Eh. This is going to be a long, long railway, but it's going to be awesome when it's done, I promise you. It really is. It's going to be a big achievement when it's done. Massive achievement. I don't know whether we're doing this the right way, though. I don't know whether there's, like, an, a better way we could do this or not. It's good that we'll be able to follow this up. So let's go up here, round. Um, maybe we should just have it spiralling down instead. Hmm... I'll think about that for next episode. Let's just get the whole building thing sorted out so that we can actually have like a front to this, which would be good. So we need um, some slabs to go around the front if we decide where the front's going to be. If we take out this, 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 and this, we could have like a little step up. And how far across do we want it to be? Let's go there, there. Hmm. Let's have all the steps cobble because it looks a bit nicer. And now my, my crafting table is going to get in the way. Ah! Get out of here, crafting table. Pop! There we go. And we'll change this into cobble. Like this. The cat is being so loud. Mika's being really loud and I don't know why. Why are you being so loud, Mika? Are you, are you upset? Are you upset? Are you warning me of creepiness? Or are you just being a punk? I think she's just a punk right now. Um, we kind of maybe need, like, some slabs or stairs, some wooden stairs. So 
So we might need to make those in a sec. And just smack up all these weeds. Because otherwise they're going to get in the way. And we're going to need a middle. Is there a middle of this? There is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we need one more row to make it even. So let's do that. And then this. And then we can have like just a single door going in. Which will be about here. Um, I'm just kind of winging this. So hopefully it looks good in the end. If not... It's going to be a railway station regardless. Will you excuse me, please? Excuse me. Thank you. Let's put this here. And make... What was I going to make? Um, oh, I've completely forgotten. What, oh, a door. A door. So we can actually have another door in the TD Empire as well, which is going to be handy. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what do you want it here? So we put that there. It's probably... Actually, we need to put the wood down first. So let's put that down here and there and then we'll have the wood. This is like, this is cool. I'm liking this. This is like platform one, which is going to be the main platform to the underground. So if we put wood all the way around like that, it kind of looks really cool. And then you'll have like the button up here. So that activates the powered rail so you can actually move down here. All these plans are good. I said it was going to take a while, and I think it definitely is. We are almost at the end of the episode now. So what I think we'll do is just grab as much um, oak wood as we can. And fill in all this. So let's fill in the floor for it. And we also need... I think we're going to need some stairs so that we can get up to the platform. And we're going to make it a bit longer as well. So we've got a little bit more space. We can have like a little ticket office. Oh, it's going to be magical. It's actually going to be awesome. Actually, I think I might put slabs there because they might look a little bit neater. I kind of don't like how stairs look now for some reason. So <laughs> I'm going to make them into slabs after we've taken out all this dirt here. And it's not going to be a big railway station because there's only going to be a couple of platforms. We don't need it to be huge. It's like a local railway station. Tr uh, villagers don't really like mind too much if it's not, not a massive eyesore on the TD Empire. Because that, that's a concern as well. So we need to add um, some slabs. So let's do that. We also need to... Let's just make all of this... There we go. And need some oak slabs. That should be enough. Move this. Move this. And then put this across here. So that is kind of the opening. So you'll open it and you'll be like led straight to platform one. Which is kind of cool. I kind of like it. And then from the left you could probably get like your ticket office in... Yes, we can do that. Nice. It's going to be fully operational. It's going to be awesome. Going to have it around here. And we're going to have to fix that issue because there's a big hole in the floor. And we're going to have to stop mobs from coming up from there. But that's fine. We can do that as well. Right then. So let's put that there and fill in all of this. And we've got... Guys, we've got the start of our train station. It's going to be magical. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be really nice. And I think next episode, what I'm going to do is kind of off camera, I'm going to grind some XP. Because we're almost at level 30. And I can use my new mob grinder to um, be able to get up to level 30 so we can enchant something else. And because we found diamonds in three episodes ago, I think it was, we could make a diamond sword and enchant it. And I think that would be a perfect start to next week's episode. So we're going to do that. Let's do, um, let's put that there. So over here, we're going to have the ticket office, which will be nice. And we've still got the platform here. You can only get up to the platform here. So we're going to put like a, a, um, a fence around here. This is going to be awesome. It's looking good already, I think. It's looking really nice. Then we can have stuff the other side as well. But you'd have to have like a, a tiny little bridge over the train track or something. But it, it's, it's looking okay. We could also extend this out to have fence up. So it's got like a little balcony above it let's try that out uh one no i want to hear one two three and then the fence will have to be on here so let's put the slab up here and i'll show you what i mean so pretend that those oak woods are actually fences and it'll have like a little balcony across here which i think will look quite nice when it's done anyway uh, is that enough? We are there? We are there. So this can be chopped out. Oh god, it's turning tonight. I think we need to end the episode anyway. So we've got quite a lot done today. We've actually started building a brand new structure, which is going to be awesome. It won't take too long to build now that we've got the position down. We've got rails. The rails are going to be the longest thing to get for this build. 
But other than that, the start is looking awesome. So let's get back, have a sleep. I just want to thank you all for watching this episode. Apologies if it was a little bit slow, but we got a lot of stuff done, a lot of plans in place, a lot of train plans, and the train is going to be super awesome when it's done. So again, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, then please do leave a like. And if this happens to be the first video you see by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. I'm going to have a snooze, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! Yeah. Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Now what did we get up to last time? Well last time I actually ended the episode down in the caves. I cannot remember which cave we were in. I think it was the cave or wherever I came up was over here near the marketplace. Really random. It was the one over here and what we were trying to do last time was find a place where we could set up a strip mine so that I could, um, off camera, I could just go ahead and mine what I needed when I needed it. And where is it? It's down here, and this is where I kind of came up, which is interesting, because I'm pretty sure that's not where I went down. But anyway, that, aside from that, um, what else did we do? I can't really remember. It's been a while since I played last time, because I did it all in advance and stuff. But, um, yeah, what we're going to do today is try and um, do a few jobs around um, around the TD Empire, because I do need to um, kind of farm all these. need to make sure everything's working properly, uh, make sure everyone's safe, and do what you suggested in the previous video and we're also going to start a railway system today which is cool so let me just put some of this stuff back for um for starters we have got this and we have got this and i think that's okay for now and last episode i asked you guys if i should make another iron golem like the beautiful one we've got out here somewhere he's kind of just walking off and and stuff though i don't know He's not really doing too much, but anyway, um, yeah, well, I asked you whether you wanted me to make another iron golem or to make an anvil and pretty much almost, it must be like at least 90% of you wanted me to make an anvil and another um, portion of you told me to make another door because um, the door is missing from the Great Cake Bakery. So what I need to do is quickly make another door and go and place that down because um, because otherwise there won't be any golems spawning. We need to have as many doors as possible, so we need to make sure that we do actually have um, all the maximum amount of doors that we can have in the TD Empire. So let's plop this down. The meaning to do that for a while, finally actually did it, which is good. And I think we're going to put the railway system or the railway station around here. It's not going to be anything massive. It's more like going to be just like one platform and then it will go to somewhere underground where you can change where you want to go and stuff like that. Um, and we can also add more platforms in the future. So I think somewhere near here would be good, to be honest. So let's go and grab all the rails um, that we need. And it's already got kind of like a an underground part to it, which is good. So it saves us a little bit of time in that respect. How is everyone doing in the TD Empire? Everyone good? Everyone good? We got doors. Oh, there's a door missing here. I need to make another door. Guys, we need another door. So let's make one right now. Oh, yeah, the anvil we need to do as well. So that is probably why the golems haven't continued to spawn. Because those pesky zombies have been knocking down our doors. How... Very dare they. How dare they. Um, everything's looking good over here. Got an egg. Smash the egg. Nope. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> There's the... Why are you in here? Why are you in here? They're playing hide and seek, I think. I think that's what they're doing. Anyway, let's get to kind of um, what we were supposed to do today, which is um, starting off by making... Um, I think I need 20... I need more than that. So let's make a anvil today. And we're going to put it in the blacksmith's because it deserves to be there. It belongs there. And I think we need to make iron blocks first. 
um, there we go, one, two, three. And then, um, where would the other tools and weapons, let's see if it's through here, cauldrons and stuff, no. Um, here, no, here, no. Not in food, it won't be in armor, maybe mechanisms that are push. Ah, oh, this is the most annoying thing, is that I never get to find anything. Can't be in decoration, surely, because it's not really a decoration, is it? It's, it actually functions as something. Anvil. Where's an anvil? Structures. Oh my goodness, this is terrifying. This is ter uh, Yeah, I found it! So we need three blocks of iron and four normal iron, and we've just made a beautiful anvil. So, thank you for all of your comments. I got literally like 12,000 comments, which is utterly insane. So, let's go and place this properly. It would be cool to have it in the house, but I think it just makes sense to have it at the blacksmith's over here. I think it's called the sword and the shovel. Is it called the sword and shovel? Yes, it is. Um, and we're going to put it in here. So, let's just mine this out. Oh, there was lava in there. What? Since when was that in there? That's awesome. I did not know that was there. Anyway, let's put the anvil down and now we have a perfectly ready anvil, which is awesome. And um, I also collected some more iron, so we kind of need to smelt that, which can go over here. That lava bucket is actually really handy because we kind of needed a lava bucket. Um, or we needed like some more coal anyway, so if we put... Um, the lava bucket in the bottom of there, and then we can use that when we need to use it. Oh, we got 18 gold. That's that's a nice surprise. I like that. I like surprises. So let's put that in there. We'll have 18 more iron, so that that um that iron is kind of been remade. We do need this. We do need this, and we need some stone slabs. So we need as much cobblestone as we can get. Let's make some stone slabs. Let's actually just take a crafting table with us because otherwise we're just going to be hopping backwards and forwards. And let's go and see where we're going to be going today. I think I'm just going to grab some wheat as well just so that I can make some bread. A little bit of a sandwich as a snack while I'm working away on this um, on this train station. And I think the first place it's going to go is kind of to the ravine with a huge opening. And I think that'll be good. And then it'll go to other places around the TD Empire when it gets too big to walk around, basically. So that is how that is going to work. Let's move the map and then plant all these. And then we can, you know, make bread. So here we go. Let's put all this down. Let's put that down there. The, the sheep and pigs are being very, very loud still. Um, as as normal. We, have, we need to get soundproofing in there. Definitely need soundproofing in there. So that they don't be as loud. But, you know, we can't make that in Minecraft yet, so we're not going to be able to. Maybe sponge would work, but again, you can't get that either. So let's keep on doing this. Chicken has walked in. Chicken's a bit awkward. I think it's... Oh, it's because I'm holding seeds, isn't it? Chicken, come out of here. Oh, my... Why? Why does... Why do you keep moving? That's weird. Come over here. Come over here right now. Come over here. Come over here. Why are you moving? And I just placed a rail down. Thank you. Thank you, Mika, for doing that to me. You need to go back on your throne. She keeps moving. I guess she wants to kind of walk around a little bit. Or the villagers might have pushed her. But they didn't push her all the way into there, did they? I don't know what she's doing. Get back on there and do your job. She's been doing her job perfectly. What are you doing? <laughs> so rude. So really just pushed her off the pushed her off her throne. That's so upsetting. Just there we go. That's better. Don't be so rude, guys. Jeez, what is wrong with you? Right then, let's put some seeds back because we're not gonna need those where we're going. So let's grab uh put those back and we're gonna keep these because we're just gonna make loads. And we need to put our gold back, because if we happen to die somehow. That'll be terrible. Absolutely terrible. Let's go. Let's go and choose a place where we're gonna put um Put our railway. It's getting to night, isn't it? It actually is. Why? 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 I must took way too long for that. And we need to keep an eye out for another golem as well. Because now that we put extra doors down, we might be alright with having these, uh... Might be alright for another spawn of a golem. And I think if you have, like, a perfect golem farm, then they spawn every six minutes. So... This episode usually reach about 30 minutes, so hopefully we'll have some golem action to make a, a second golem, which would be good. Unless we've reached our spawn limit, which I had no idea happened in this version of Minecraft. But when we get onto the Xbox One, oh my goodness, those worlds are supposed to be 36 times the size of Xbox. 
that is a lot. That is a lot bigger than before. So that would be good. Lots more spawn space. Lots more um, valuables so that we don't have to uh, kind of uh, consume. What's it called? What's it called? Conserve them as much as we do now. All right, then let's have a quick sleep, and now we can go ahead and start this railway. I'm really liking the house now. I've got used to it being um, a lower floor and not as open, but that's fine. You leave, you leave Mika alone. I don't want her. Um, I don't want her to be pushed off again. Um, I just collected an egg, so I want to throw it. Um, here come, boom. Still nothing. Why? How are you doing, golems? We managed to create this last time, and some of you were worried that the glowstone was going to melt the snow, but it doesn't. It's okay. We're all good. Um, and they're going to stay perfectly fine up there. All right, and let's go and place down our first platform for the railway. We are going to need more rails in this because rails do not go far at all. You think you've got like two stacks? They aren't going to go far. And we kind of need a building in front of it. So maybe up here will be good. Would up here be good? And then we can make it go down that way. Yeah, I think that would be cool. So if we like put it like this. Uh, get these weeds out of the way. There's a lot of weeds here. So this will be like the per the first platform. And it's not going to be a huge one. It's just going to be like a little kind of dainty one. It's going to look cute as anything. We should have brought a shovel with us. Let's put the crafting table over here. And just knock this out. Because we're going to replace these with slabs. And I think we might place... Hmm. Should we put cobblestone underneath the tracks? Would that look good? I think that might look good, you know. So let's do this. And bring it back up. I need a shovel now. Why? I always forget something. Always. Always. Let me go get a shovel and I'll be back in a second. Right then, guys. I'm back with me shovel. I got a shovel. It's all right. We're all good. Um, we just need to dig out where we want this to go. So we want stone here. I think it'll just look a little bit neater. And then we're going to have slabs at the side, which would be good. Really good. And then we can have different directions. We want it to go. So let's stop it here for now. And then put the cobblestone all the way in here. This might take a few episodes to build because we're going to have to build the actual railway and figure out where we're going to want it to go and how far it's going to go, how much extra tracks we're going to need because I heard a zombie. There's a zombie creeping around somewhere. What are you... What is going on? Why are you walking around? I don't understand. I don't understand. You come straight back over here. You know what? You're just going to have to sit over here, aren't you? <laughs> So random. She just wants to be loved. She's not doing great work uh, with the creeper situation now over here. But regardless, she's going to stay with us. So let's make some cobblestone slabs. And hopefully you'll get where I'm going with this. So the uh, it will go like this, which will look cool. And then it will have the, um, the tracks in the middle. All right, well, let's put the tracks in the middle to make it look proper. There we go, and I think we'll have kind of wooden at the side, so it looks quite cool, I guess. Let's try it. Let's try it right now. I'm kind of winging this, and I think it would look good, though. So this will be like that. We need some more planks. There we go. Let's bring this all the way here, and then we're going to cut off this bit as well. And this is where you'll be able to walk on the platform, and then we'll have lights. It will look awesome, and then we'll have to make a building as well. Which would be good, it would be interesting as well. And here we go, let's bring this all the way to the end of here. And I think this is where we want it to kind of go underground. So it's going to be kind of like an underground subway as well.